Well, I have been pushed. I think it's about time that somebody teach these varmints a little lesson about morality and about what it's like to be a decent, upstanding member of a society. I tell you, kids today don't know how good they have it. When I was young, I had to walk nine feet through shag carpeting to change the television channel. <laughs> Good morning. It's Wednesday, February the 2nd, 2022, and this is Cafe Devo, coming to you almost live from First Congregational Church at the point of Saginaw and Washtenaw in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, hanging out here with my pal Bugsy, and I hope your Wednesday is going well. However, I have to report that neither Bugsy nor myself saw our shadows today. <laughs> So, you better get it right, Groundhog. <laughs> We're continuing to read from uh, the book written by Alistair Begg, one of my favorite preachers. It's the book Truth for Life. It's copyright 2021. Good book publishing. Luke chapter 11, verse 1. Now, Jesus was praying in a certain place. And when he finished, one of the disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Our fellowship with God through the Lord Jesus Christ is principally expressed through our prayers. They give evidence of our relationship with him. He not only speaks with us through his word, but has also entrusted us with the amazing privilege of communicating with him in prayer. Scripture provides us with multiple accounts of Jesus' own prayer life. The better acquainted we are with these records, the more we realize that Jesus treated prayer as a holy habit. He regularly prayed in the early morning hours to lay the day's plans before his Father. Praying in a quiet and solitary place enabled Jesus to then follow his Father's voice over the noise of the crowds and even the requests of his disciples. Prayer formed the context or framework of all the decisions Jesus made. His prayer routine prompted his disciples to plead, Lord, teach us to pray. They were apparently struck by his intensity and focus, and this created a hunger in their hearts for similar intimacy with the Father. In response to that request, Jesus instructed his disciples not to heap up empty phrases or to think that they would be heard for their many words. This is Matthew 6, 7. In other words, in praying, we are not to babble or drone on. Instead, in the example that Jesus then gave, namely what we refer to as the Lord's Prayer, we discover that God's spiritual children are free to address Him simply and directly as their Heavenly Father. And what are we to pray for? To begin with, we are to ask for God's name to be rightly honored, for Him to bring His kingdom in us and around us, and for Him to supply our daily needs. We are to admit our need for daily repentance, the necessity of extending forgiveness to others, and our dependence on God for dealing with temptation. In our prayers, Jesus explained we are to seek and ask to see God's glory and grace in the midst of everyday life. In our Christian pilgrimage, there is arguably nothing more important or more difficult to maintain than a meaningful prayer life. But here is help. If Jesus, the divine Son of God, needed to pray and made it a priority, then so do you and I. The humbling thought should drive us to our knees. And once there, we can freely employ the Lord's Prayer as an aid or an outline to our own prayer. God has given you the great privilege of approaching him in prayer and addressing him as Father in the name of Christ. He stands ready to listen and to help. So be sure to treat prayer as a holy habit and never 
as an optional extra. For further reading today, check out Luke chapter 11, verses 1 through 13. Father, how grateful we are for this Wednesday that you've given us, for the gift of life, for salvation, for your precious grace and love and all that you give to us. Thank you for your presence in this day and in our lives. We ask you to bless us. May all that we say and do and think be pleasing and honoring to you and to your name. And may you use us, Lord, how you see fit so that we can minister and share your love and your grace with everyone around us. Bless us in these things, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, that's going to do it for us on this Wednesday edition of Cafe Devo. Thanks for clicking the start button and spending these few moments with me. I hope it was a blessing to you. Before I go, I want to remind all of you that First Congregational Church goes live tonight with our Wednesday night live stream via Facebook or on Zoom, whichever you prefer. Come and join us at 7 p.m. as we take part in a little conversation, a little prayer, and a little Bible study. Our Bible study is uh, working its way through the book of Revelation, and so we invite you to come and enjoy uh, that time of teaching and sharing and prayer with one another. For right now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless all of you, and I'll see you tomorrow.